Alright guys, we are back in the Morion Trail. Now we get to now we are going to compete by assembling an away team. Number two Sing Pop Cat. Okay, um Who's your most important person? Well I think it's I think we're gonna send Wolfgang. He's not very important. <laughs> Your away team arrives in front of the Coliseum. Banners proudly display various home planets. Wave in the breeze. This is a buzz of excitement in the air. Your team of champions awaits your orders. Um, begin the games. Yeah. <laughs> a, your team proudly marches into the arena, ready to prove the awesomeness of the galaxy force. Move on. The bravery. The team enters a large open arena. Some kind of large elephant centaur towers above the mechanically uh, wheedling, wheedling a tree trunk in its trunk. Anyway, it's really big and scary. Wolfgang Whiskey looks to you for guidance. Oh my god, you, you literally can't do anything. You can't do anything. Like, Oh, why did I send you? You're senseless. Okay. I'm sorry, Weatherman and David, <laughs> Kevin. We're going to have to overwhelm it with superior firepower. <laughs> the team lines with an open fire. Oh my god, you cost us so much. Oh, there. Is that good? I forget if that's good or not. Nobody can land a solid hit. A few grazes here and there, and several of your team is wiped out. Eventually, Wolfgang Whiskey is able to land a crack shot, neutralizing the threat. The crowd goes wild! Woo! Oh, there goes two guys. I uh, know, Kevin and David. Like, three out of the two guys I named are dead. Your team returns to the front of the game. Uh, no more. Beam them up. Your team returns to the ship. The unknown award isn't worth the lives of your crew. So we got nothing from that. That was useless. I'm sorry for him to do that. How much longer do we have? Okay, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more spaces to jump to. Go. Ah, <laughs> You're so excited, the last time you were at Omega Mart, you invested in a state-of-the-art efficiency management machine, the, TF the TFS-9000, a Fectoro. After months waiting, it's finally here, you can't wait to try all, all of the functions. Look under the hood. You're really curious about how this spectacular machine works. You, you and your science team decide to take off the case again and look at the circuitry to see what you can learn. Holy shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> if we fail this... Yay! This TFS-9000 offers to train you itself for efficiency. Your intern take over for you for a week as you focus on re <laughs> training. When you get back, your most qualified TFS 9000 operators are on stat. Neat! We got another thing. And achievement. That's cool. <laughs> Sensors indicate that there is some sort of floating memorial nearby. The navigator is asking one of them. Let's not pay our respects. That didn't go well at no all. Uh, you're... Oh, please, oh, sorry, please, this is good. good. Um, you're sitting on the bridge, when suddenly, you hear a high pitch buzzing in your passive, and then return. Then goes on for, like, five minutes before you realize the entire ship infested with moon mosquitoes. Right. Fumigate the ship. You don't even know how these bugs got onto your ship, and you don't know, and you don't care. They're really obnoxious. You give the order to flood the ship with mosquito pesticide, deck by deck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we're so 
I'll get it found. Oh my god. You're lucky you didn't find that. Upon contact with the pes pesticides and the Moonskeeto begins melting. Huh, you clean up the goo. And up clo upon closer study, discover that the bugs leaving leavings make a pretty efficient fuel. What initially appears to be star seems to be a planet a planet are covered in a calm golden ocean. Suddenly your senses indicate multiple anomalies coming from the planet and inside your ship. If you believed in space goods, this would be scary. Let's run some test. Uh in all your years of space travel, you've never seen or even heard about anything like this, recognizing an opportunity to expand galaxy's fullest knowledge and possibly becoming rich and famous. You patiently wait for the pH test result. Why is Elvis on the deck? Oh wait, never mind. What, what is he doing? Is that... Who, who are... Oh my god, you're lucky you're gone. You quickly learn that the liquid on the planetoid surface is not only edible, but nutrition, nutri nutrition rich. The scientist team isn't much closer to determining what or who exactly you're now eating, but you're not really in the position to, position to be picky. Let's keep going. that there is some sort of floating memorial nearby. No. Do not go to this. <laughs> the Oculus, a race of squid eyeballed creatures. Oh my god, squid, where are you? You'll love it here. Creatures have no beef with gal galaxy forces. So are you welcome to stay for a while? You assign Oculant Escort to lean and close in with says that he is willing to do so, trading to off the book. Uh, no. Does he indicate that there is some sort of float memorial? No. We do not like looking at dead people on the ship. Ooh, sex spot. Can you hear mouth? Manufacturer. Manufacturing robot NK421 has constructed an exact copy of herself. She informed you that she has a lot of ideas and wants to make more friends. This makes you a little uneasy. Her green eyes blinking at you, avoiding your order. Sure, I'll offer her full use of the lab. Why not? That sounds smart. Grateful, I shall relocate to the laboratory. The chief scientist is not too sure about this, but you don't care. You want to see what what the robot this robot can do. MK421 is ready to present the fruits of her labor. Optimistic, I present to you a squad of non-violent holographic crew members that are projected by small mobile rovers that scuttle across the floor. I call them hum humbass. We're almost near the end. Being attacked by an unknown assailant, the warp drive is down, arms controls aren't responding, and they're ignoring any attempt at communication. Your gunner cheerfully reports your weapons all work, though. What's the call, Captain? Send the boring party to get in close, full broadside. You nod to your gunner who makes the necessary preparations using sort controlled puffs of air. You sidle up next to your assets. Uh, does it say here? Sorry, I just had to let my dog out. Um you fire all port side phases, tearing the enemy in half. The result exploding singles your ship. But you're pretty sure it's, it'll buff out. You salvage any fuel cells 
You can't in the wreckage, your gunner is stumped. <laughs> Discover a planet populated by humanoid creatures or freakish ape. Since they appear to be intelligent creatures, you open negotiations to barter with them. They send a delegation to your ship. Ransom their leader. Using some fresh bananas. Oh, sorry, this is a really loud noise. You bait the leader, so you you can kidnap him and ransom him to the apes for all the fuel you need. Yeah, this isn't bad, is it? We're not we're not, we're not bad people. Yeah, no, we're not bad people. The leader, a very generous ape, sh shares his banana with the rest of the tribe. All the apes fall asleep. You make off the fuel and beam the, sl the sleeping apes back to your ship. Back to their ship, sorry. Now let's get more haul. Ooh, sensors indicate that there is some sort of floating more- No. Oh my god, we're gonna stop. Any of this give us plus food? Nope. Uh, your communication officer says that you are being hailed by an unknown vessel. Holding a deep space, a shady figure appears on the hollow screen, offering repairs in exchange for some fuel. Scan his cargo hold. Seems too... what's the word? Suspicious to you. You need to know what you're dealing with here. Your science team performs a scanning sweep. Sensors report several repair drones and several dozen canisters of fuel. Engineers beam the drones into the cargo bay, but he sp he sped off after noticing what was going on. You're certain this won't come back to bite you? Yeah, well I'm not. I mean, I am because literally the base is right here. Oh, Friends and allies. You receive a distress call from a group of miners on a nearby asteroid. Apparently, they've, they've triggered a chain reaction after mining some very rare and violent, uh, volatile ore. The whole thing is about to explode. Where are you? I don't want to do either of these, we'll save the miners. So. It was a close call, but just the last second you were able to save the miners and escape the ensuing explosion. Many wish to be dropped off to the next inhabitable planet, but a few want to join your crew. Yeah. Mission successful! Congratulations, Squid Lion! You have su uh, successfully transvested the Milky May in a most daring expedition. Galaxy Force honors you with the title Admiral Scientist. Nine successes. Three fails, one super thing, and yet six science, four of those, one diplomatic event. Okay, well that was Orion Trail. If you want to see more of this, please leave a like. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.